Hello, and welcome to Inaware's Process Runner Help Series. In this video, we will show an overview of Process Runner's Excel add-in for end users. Let's begin by opening Excel. And on the top, you should see the Process Runner Excel add-in tab. Let's click on it. If you do not see this tab, contact the appropriate department or manager to ensure that Process Runner Excel add-in has been successfully installed and configured. Next, we need to open a Process Runner Excel add-in file, which has been prepared for us. We are responsible for inputting data into the Excel file. This file is configured to post data to SAP by the simple push of a button utilizing a Process Runner automation script. For this example, we will use a Process Runner Excel add-in file containing sales order data and a VA01 create sales order automation script. This file resides on the desktop of our local machine, so let's click on the Open dropdown, select Open Excel, and locate the file to open it. Once we have our file opened, we need to enter our data before running the file. We have a form layout for our data, which will result in only one sales order to be created in SAP. For this demonstration, we have already entered most of the data. However, we need to enter the division, which we do not know offhand. We can utilize the dynamic F4 lookup feature, which brings the search out functionality from SAP directly into Excel. If a designer has enabled the dynamic F4 lookup for our script and we have security authorization, we can click on the cell with our missing value and press the dynamic F4 lookup button. The dynamic F4 lookup will filter possible values for the division based on the values entered for the sales organization and distribution channel. We can find the value we need and double click on it to automatically enter it into the Excel spreadsheet. Now that our data is ready for SAP, we just simply press the run button, log into the SAP system we want to create the sales order in, and the Create Sales Order Automation script executes. SAP status messaging for the sales order writes directly to our Excel spreadsheet. Let's use VA03 in SAP to verify our sales order was successfully created. Here in Excel again, we will run an FB50 GL account posting automation script for this example. This time, let's open the Process Runner Excel add-in file from eShare, which is an enterprise sharing database server. Let's click on the Open dropdown, select Open from eShare, and locate the file residing on the eShare server. Then double click on the file, select Open Smart eShare, and the file will open in Excel. With our FB50 file open in Excel, we can enter our data. But again, for this demonstration, the data has already been entered. This Excel layout allows for multiple documents to be created, whereas in our first example, we utilized a form layout, which only allows one sales order to be created. Notice the cell highlighted in red, which deliberately contains an error. Let's press the Run button, log into SAP, and our automation script executes. The status messaging writes directly to the Excel file, showing the successful execution of two calls to SAP. 
One call to SAP was not successful due to the error in our data. We could make the correction in our data and run the automation script again after changing the start row and end row. Or we could press the error processing button after fixing the error and which only the call to SAP with the error message would be rerun. Let's check SAP using FB03 to verify the data has been uploaded from our first call. Want to learn more about simplifying SAP with Inaware Technologies? Visit us at inaware.com. Thank you for watching.